Welcome to We Dig, the show where we talk about music, beer, and all the life splendors. My name is Laird, this is Colin, and well, here's... The, wait, wait a second. What's going on with this getup right now? Are we on another stakeout? And now for a new segment, SmackDown, Rattler Edition. Rattler number one, let's see how she tastes. Fruity undercurrents, citrus explosion is palpable. I would say that this is a little bit too fruit juicy. Uh, it's, it's sort of, like I honestly feel like I just like poured some Tropicana in a cup, kind of. Radler 2. Ooh. It's got kind of like a sharp citrus taste. Uh, very aromatic. I felt it in my nasal cavity. Radler number 3. The last Radler. Ooh. Okay. Good. It's got like kind of a nice body. Feels like a little airy. Uh, has a sexy flavor. I, I don't think that I would say that this is my favorite one. It, it'll still get the job done. All right, well, I've been through all the Rattlers and uh, still have not been able to come up with a verdict. So uh, now we're entering what I call the house party round, where I'm going to really smash through the Rattlers and see what speaks to my insides. Rattler one. Ah, that's good Rattler. Rattler two. Oh God, that's pretty good. Rattler three. Yeah. Well, I have to say, those were all great Rattlers. I think I'm going to lean towards Rattler number two. That last round, uh, they all kind of blended together for some reason. I'm not sure why. But, uh, but still, I, I, think I'm, I think I'm going to go with, uh, with two. So the winner is uh, Waterloo Grapefruit Rattler. A local one, uh, which is nice because I know we had some, some overseas ones. And, uh, you know, I like to champion the local spirit if I can. This grapefruit Rattler uh, is a blend of real grapefruit juice and beer. Small batch brewed in the traditional German style. Crisp and uber refreshing. It's a perfect drink for any season. The really fun part about this is that it's, uh, it's a German style beer. I know for a fact that one of these was a German brand and it got beat, got beat. And now for the old school diamond of the day. These handmade 3D cards by a local Toronto artist named Link. This card is some kind of jungle situation. Probably much better than the recent remake of Tarzan that nobody went to see. If you've really truly let down those you love, and only 3D printed cards could possibly make up for the mistakes you've made, come to old school. They're still cards, but they're amazing. That was this episode of What We Dig. If you like us, hit that like button. If you want to get a little closer, hit that subscribe button. If you want to share us with the world, hit that share button. Otherwise, my name is Laird, this is Colin, and we'll see you next time. Radler edition. Dude, they're handmade, dude. <laughs> that is so much more complicated now. I know. How's he doing this? What you gonna do with that monkey? What you gonna do with that monkey? One thing I like about Radlers uh, is if you want to drink something, but you don't want to get drunk without drinking 18? <laughs> Rattlers are great for that.